In the wake of the recent lockdown amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, Pakistan is facing a looming economic crisis. After a difficult period of recovery with the economy showing signs of improvement, the government is now faced with the challenge of keeping its large poor population afloat and controlling the pandemic simultaneously. In this current situation, Prime Minister Imran Khan announced a comprehensive stimulus package worth 1.2 trillion rupees aimed at the well-being of laborers, daily wage earners and small businesses. This relief package has been divided into three categories. 1. Poverty alleviation 144 billion rupees have been allocated to 12 million underprivileged families amounting to 12000 rupees per family 200 billion rupees have been allocated to 3 million daily wage earners amounting to 17500 rupees each for 4 months 50 billion rupees have been allocated for utility stores to provide subsidized rations for the poor with an additional 6 billion rupees allocated for panagas Electricity and gas bills have also been deferred for low income users. 2. Supporting small businesses. The government has allocated 480 billion rupees for this scheme, out of which 280 billion will be allocated to the payment of wheat farmers, 100 billion for agriculture, and an additional 100 billion as industry and exporter relief. 3. Emergency response. The government has allocated 190 billion rupees to shore up the country's emergency response systems with 50 billion for medical workers, a 15 billion rupee tax break on medical and food supplies, 100 billion for emergency funds and 25 billion for the National Disaster Management Authority. As a developing country facing the threat of an economic crisis, the government has taken the initiative to provide welfare and support to the most vulnerable segments of society. and to ensure that the economy can withstand the aftershocks of this global pandemic